We love you so much. I can't bless you for this day, but I bless you for my daughter. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord. The last time I saw Shania was four weeks ago on a Friday. I went and took her to visit her mother. I packed her with two days worth of clothes. I got her out of the car and I kissed her goodbye and I told her to be a good girl. She turned back to me and said, I love you, Aunt Carrie, and see you later. I have to go. I'm sorry. No more comments. You said none of the doors were open? No, ma'am, they were locked, but she knows how to unlock the front door. Was it closed this yes, morning? Yes, ma'am. And you said it was around 5.30? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Have you checked the neighborhood? I checked everywhere. I haven't checked the back end of the neighborhood yet, but I checked the front end. I'm just, I don't know what else to do. I'm so, I'm, I don't know what else to do. Are there any more uh, juveniles inside the home? It's my son, but he's here. Okay. And your door was not unlocked, that's what you're telling me? No, it was not unlocked, but okay. I'm telling you she knows how to unlock it. I'm hoping that she did unlock it and walk out. Joining us right now, special guest, Shania's brother, Byron Coleman. Mr. Coleman, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Mr. Coleman, when did you learn that Shania body had been found um i heard thursday or yesterday actually i'm sorry um i had got a couple of phone calls from a couple of friends um in greensboro and raleigh and uh people that have been following the story supporting me and my family since day one and um they actually been asking me if i was all right and i didn't hear the news at all because um i live in charlotte and Right before I came on CNN, my father called me and um, he told me right before I hear the news that they did find a body and it possibly could be Shania's. What did you know about the mother? Um, me and Antoinette really didn't have a relationship. Um, I didn't know much about her. The only thing me and Antoinette ever said to each other was a hi when I was picking up Shania and a bye and how you been. How often had you been there to pick up Shania? Um, usually, I picked up Shania quite a few times, um, for either it was from my aunt's house or from my father's house. Um, I would either take Shania to McDonald's to get something to eat, to play around, or go to Chuck E. Cheese, anything of that nature. You know, before I had children, I swore I would not let them eat McDonald's. I would only give them organic food. You know what? Forget <laughs> it. If they want french fries, they got it. Um, so you would take her to McDonald's, Chuck E. Cheese. You, you spent a fair amount of time with her. Yes, ma'am. Now, you mentioned you picked her up from your aunt's house, from the grandmother, but how much time did Antoinette spend with her? Um, I, that I'm not aware of because, I mean, once I don't live here in Fayetteville. I moved, right. recently moved to Charlotte. Um, but Shania was mostly, my aunt took good care of her as long as my father uh, majority of the time she was with my father or my aunt, um, just with my aunt spending time and my father, you know, raising her. And my father recently gave her, Antoinette, a chance to give the mother a second chance to raise her daughter. I mean, because everybody deserves a second chance, just like a convicted felon. I mean, he deserves a second chance because he could have changed. You never know. Did anybody in your side of the family know that drugs were being sold out of that home? No, not that I'm aware of. That was my understanding that... That's not true. That's not true. It was another house, not that one. And it wasn't drugs. They found baggies and things like that, but I, I of what they had said last night. So there was actual drugs. I knew that that was going no, on I, in the home. No, we didn't have no clue at all, because if we did, we would never let Shania go to that type of an environment. Absolutely not. From my understanding, your father took excellent care of the little girl. She did, and um, I mean, you could see from when Mario was carrying her, how Shania's hair was, and um, in the car when Shania had her hair slicked back, to her birthday parties, to her Halloween costume, 
You can, Shania was well kept with my father. He took very good care of her. How is your father doing tonight? I mean, he is just heartbroken when we have yeah, seen I can, him. Yeah, yeah, my father, he's taking it real hard. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just really hard on that family. I mean, it's just a tough time. This is actually our second time going through another death in our family. My mom passed away when I was 10 years old, so. I know. You know it's, it's just really hard on the family, so we're just trying to take it in and we thank everybody for the support and the blessings and the prayers that everybody has been going out from here to California to all the way over to Iraq. Well, with me, everyone, Shania's brother, Byron Coleman, believe you, me, so many people are praying for you and your family and for Shania. When do you know, are they going to release her body? Have they told anybody what was the cause of death, Byron? Um, they actually, I haven't heard anything. Um, I don't think my father had either. Um, we're not really sure too much yet. Um, we're still trying to figure it out now. So, and there is your dad right there. There's yes, your dad. Would you please? And we really do want to thank everybody for the support and prayers. I mean, it really does mean a lot. Um, you know. We just want everybody to stay as strong as we're trying to. I know it's hard, but for the mothers out there, please don't let this happen to your child. If you could pass on to your father that, you know, I thought as a crime victim myself, I knew what pain was, but when I saw him, when he learned about Shania crying, I don't think there's anything worse that could be worse than losing your child. Would you just pass on to him that we are praying for him so much? Yes, ma'am. Everybody, we are taking your calls live. I want to go out to Stacy in California. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Hi, dear. What's your question? Hi, my question is, what was the mother thinking of doing this to her five-year-old child? And I believe that my husband and I believe that she was on crack cocaine or some sort. I'm just, this is just really bizarre, you know. Hold on, Stacy. Repeat the question. I just want to know what she was thinking, um, because of doing this to her five-year-old child. You know what? I'm going to throw that to Byron Coleman. He is there with his father, Shania's father. I know you guys have seen the mom in court. You've seen the video of that guy. And, and Mario McNeil with her. You guys knew Antoinette. How could she just hand the baby over, Byron? Uh, and that's something that, I mean, it's, it's hard to believe. A mother would just hand a child over to a complete, I don't, I, I don't know. 